Continuing coverage now on the baby abandoned in Springfield, the incident has brought new attention to a 2004 state law, the Baby Safe Haven Law. I took a closer look at the law and the procedures public safety professionals are trained to follow when a baby is surrendered. The Baby Safe Haven Law allows a parent to legally surrender a newborn to a manned fire station, hospital or police station in the state of Massachusetts without criminal persecution. The Safe Haven Law provides for individuals to do that so long as the baby is under the age of seven days old, so essentially a newborn infant. Springfield Fire Captain Drew Pimonti and his colleagues have prepared to respond to surrendered babies since the law was enacted. He says after thanking the person for bringing the baby to a safe place, they try and get information like the baby's name and important medical conditions. EMS is then called to check the infant's health. After the baby is medically screened, DCF will place the baby in an approved foster or pre-adoptive home. Captain says it's not just the infant's health that's important. They're bringing an infant to a fire station. You know that they're in. Uh, you know that they're at their last resort. So we, you know, we try and treat them with the utmost respect and let them know we're not judgmental. You know, you're here for help and we're here to help. Mothers we spoke to expressed concern for the person who left a baby on a Springfield doorstep this past weekend. Their mom probably was probably going through some kind of postpartum depression, maybe didn't know how to handle um, having the newborn or knowing exactly what to do. And if you don't have the right people to support you, anything can go wrong. And it's very unfortunate that this mother, you know, I know that she's out there somewhere, that she requires medical attention as well. The number of babies surrendered in Massachusetts through the safe haven law remains low. Since 2018, there's only been a total of five.